Hey everybody, it is Taylor of Summer Del Sol here. Today I'm reinstalling my seats and hopefully bleeding my brake master cylinder. Now, I do feel the need to warn you, my idiot self has run six miles the day before without any training, so I'm just gonna tell you now, you're gonna hear some unflattering noises today. There are many ways to mount a seat in an EXO set. I chose the route I believed to be the cheapest and easiest, though that's still up for question. That alleged route includes two bars of eighth of an inch flat bar stock and lots of hacksawing. Did I mention I made a cocktail for this? I made a cocktail for this. Now I'm not the tallest member of the group by any means, so I was able to keep these bars to around 17 inches and that put me in a good seating position in the car. And boom, two bars ready to roll. Next it was time to focus on my side mounts. I measured the distance from the button to the bracket on both sides to try and get this as close as possible. Next, I marked each location where I knew I wanted to drill. With each of the three holes drilled, I dropped in the hardware. I went with 5 16 inch hardware all around and made sure it was M8, so it's going to be pretty strong to hold me in place. Next, I measured the base plates on the seat to make sure I knew exactly where the bar stock had to sit within the car. With it loosely mocked up, I dropped in the seat. Gotta test it out. This was actually really hard to keep balanced too, so I used my harnesses to hold it in place. From here, it was time to crawl in and see exactly where I wanted to put this seat. But it definitely needed to come forward, so... There was some scooching involved. But I finally found the sweet spot and felt confident enough to install the seat in place. With everything in place, I marked the position of the back of the side bracket onto the flat bar stock. This allowed me to remember the position of the seat onto the bar stock so I knew where to mount it later. With the layback angle that I chose, I ended up needing to drill two holes under the bottom of the seat in order to bottom mount those onto the flat bar stock. Oh yeah, you know you're doing something right. <laughs> when you accidentally drill through the instructions. Let this be a moment of <laughs> awareness that my word is not the gospel and that I truly have no idea what I'm doing. Using the bracket mark location from earlier, I'm able to pinpoint where I need to drill into this flat bar stock in order to bottom mount. It took a few tries to get a fat sharpie through, but I was eventually able to get the sharpie to go through the hole I drilled in the bottom of the seat to mark the bar. With that marked, it was time to drill again. With the hole drilled, it's ready to put the hardware in. So fret not, I know the sticker's still on here. I'm eventually gonna have all of this powder coated to match, so that'll all get sandblasted and go away. I repeated the same process on the other side and was ready to install there as well. Oh, something's caught my eye. It would appear I didn't think this through all the way. Shocking. To fill you all in, I'm currently pondering if this nut and bolt combo is gonna be short enough to give me the clearance I need for the floor pan. I'll show you exactly what I mean in a second. As you can see, I've got the Kirky 55 series seat here. I'm also using the Kirky side mounting bracket that is separate. Um, I'm running an eighth of an inch steel plate below to mount this to the square tube on the chassis. I have a bottom mount here that I made sure is short enough to fit in between the square tube and the floor here. That bolt's going to sit kind of just above this steel floor. I don't want to drill into that, but I've made sure that's short enough. So what I'm going to do now is put this back into the car so I can figure out where I want to mount on these steel tubes here for the front and end of my steel plate. And then once I get those measurements, I'm going to drill that out and then remove the side bracket from the seat so I can get access to this front bolt here to mount this bracket to the steel bar. And then hopefully I'll have a seat in the car. With the plan laid out, it was time to test the fitment another time. I want to see exactly where I'm going to be sitting in relation to my pedal assembly so I know I'm comfortable while I'm driving. 
The goal of this fitment is to see exactly where I want the holes to be in the flat bar stock so I know they're going to overlay along the square tube in the chassis. Once I was comfortable with the seat position, I knew I was ready to mark the flat bar stock. I made sure the marks were directly over the center of the square tube where the two would be mounting shortly. With the drilling locations marked, I was ready to remove the seat from the chassis and also remove the side brackets that would give me clearance in order to drill the hole. I went ahead and drilled out all three holes, two of which went to the holes dedicated to the square tubes in the chassis, and the third going to the side mounting bracket of the Kirky seat. In retrospect, I went the long way about this by reinstalling this bracket for another test fit, but I definitely wanted to be sure this was exactly where I wanted it because I did not want to drill any more than I had to. All right, so, you know, honestly the seats weren't quite as bad as I expected. It's definitely tedious, but it's not complicated. I've read a lot on the forums about how people want to sit really low. Uh, you know, I'm not the six foot anything of the group. I'm 5'8", but, you know, I'm sitting really low with just this bar stock. I'm probably going to need to bring it up, if anything, but if you need to go around, this is not a bad one. If you have to sit really low, I'm sitting right on the bars. Some people weld to get below the bars to kind of create this mount that attaches on the sides, but I don't need that, so they're going in. Like I said, I double triple checked the fitment here. I'm still a little far back, but this is without the padding, and I know I have friends who are going to want to drive this thing, so I think it'll work out in the end. Once I got everything recentered after getting out of the car, I marked where I was going to drill. In order to give my best attempt at drilling a position that was actually going to be usable, I tried to frame this up with a bracket I'd created and hole punched in the center, at least as best I could. My mileage did vary. With the positions marked, it wasn't only a time to drill, it was also a time to reflect. Okay, all right, I might have been trying to subtly flex earlier. I, I hate this. <laughs> it's so many holes, it's so much drilling, it's such hard metal. I get it now. This is, this is really tedious. It's, it's manageable, but it's tedious. If anyone would like a ride along, you're welcome to purchase your own seat and install it yourself because this might be empty for a while. <laughs> oh. So hard. All right, I'm tightening up all the bracketry that attaches the seat to the excess head. So hopefully, when I go to install this in there, we have no problems. Cross your fingers for me. I'm skeptical. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Oh. Whew. I know these are gonna bolt right in. No problem. Totally. Drilled in straight every time, I'm sure. All right, totally flawless execution. Nothing else to see? Goodbye, thank you for watching. All right, just kidding. Let's see what I did. And wouldn't you know it, it took a little bit of negotiation to get the seats fully installed. But a hot tip is that it was very helpful to leave the side brackets a little bit loose here. That gave me a little more flexibility in where the seat position was. It allowed me to get those flat bars over the holes and finally to install the hardware. Now, speaking of that hardware, I did read some things online that suggested I install them from the bottom up with the head of the bolt being underneath the car. That was surprising to me because you'd think you wouldn't want it to fall out if the nut gets loose, but it does make sense. You don't want the car to bottom out and then tear up the threads on that bolt. This was the first time I'd read anything like that, so I'm open to interpretation. If you guys have thoughts, let me know. And just like that, the seat is finally installed. After all that hard work, I gotta say it was very, very rewarding to snap this cover in place. Definitely the easiest step of the project. And of course, after all that work, I had to do the final, final fitment test. I'm pretty pleased. I think it feels really good and I'm excited. Wow, starting to feel like a car. Feels good? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and following along. It always means the world. It's crazy to see how far this car has come. I can't believe there's a seat in it. I cannot believe it's running. Hopefully I can get a video to you guys very soon of this thing in the streets. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time.